Well, Jay, just as you mentioned, so many hearts are heavy tonight, especially what happened yesterday. A lot of people are reacting. Even the time that we spent here in the park, people walking by said they either heard what happened or they had someone who was injured that they knew. So, so many reacting here in the community, reacting on social media, and then other people are outraged by what happened. Now, the organizer of the event is speaking out. He took so much time to put this event together. WPTV's Michael Butchner has that part of the story. The event here at the park was meant to be a unity fest to bring together members of the community to celebrate Dr. King. But that was quickly spoiled when bullets started flying. Event organizer James Mond told me he was about 150 yards away from the park when he heard gunshots and chaos as the annual car and bike show was wrapping up. He said his nonprofit, Give Back to Kids Inc., which he said was established in the wake of senseless violence, applied for permits and paid $600 to hire three deputies for security to patrol the event. He told me Monday's shooting hurts not only him personally, but the entire community. So how do you get to this point where you get into a fight, or supposed to get into a fight, and then, and then you know, bullets ring out? And then after that, today we have someone who, 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 who dies, who passes away from having a good time. Man, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's disgusting. It's disgusting, man. We have to be better as a community. Mons is encouraging people in this community to speak up. He says if you saw something or if you know something, to say something. In Fort Pierce, Michael Butchner, WPTV News Channel 5.